The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. In this project, uh, we are studying the operation of existing end markets and how these could be stimulated and what new markets that can be created. Through our research, we have determined different barriers and enablers affecting these end markets in different states and territories. We have developed a model of what an effective and operational end market for CND waste management should look like. And we also studied how sustainable procurement policies can enhance the operation and size of these end markets. We actually interviewed a total of 27 key stakeholders. These stakeholders were across construction, manufacturing and recycling companies, as well as government organisations. We explored their lived experience related to recent impacts of COVID-19 and their general opinion on C&D waste markets. Findings emerged, a whole suite of barriers related to complex recycled product specifications and more practical impacts such as logistics that can hinder movement of goods to be recycled. We need to move forward with a funding model that really demonstrates the true value of using recycled material and to encourage more businesses to engage in C&D waste recycling. I think that what we have realised in Australia is the fact that um, whilst we've been good recyclers, we can be better. The construction and demolition industry gives us a great opportunity if we design buildings and infrastructure well from the outset, that we can recover more, particularly around concrete, glass and steel. You know, those are materials that are heavy materials that we're never going to export. Um, but key to this is a few things. We need to design better at first instance to either refurbish or repair or make sure that we have the systems in place to recover those materials and make sure that there's less contaminants in them. Once we design, we need to actually have real specifications that include recycled content for that market pool to be able to know that we can uh, pull down, recover and put back into the marketplace. And we still need to go further, as the report's highlighted, on the fact that we need more than encouragement, but actual requirement of using recycled content. Because what these materials really are, are uh, reused raw materials that we need to give second, third, fourth, fifth life and not be using natural materials. So the construction industry is a great opportunity to get to 90% in theory, recycled um, recovery rates if we design well and we utilise this product and buy back. So effectively at the moment, um, there is, a, there is a strain on resources and so therefore the supply of raw materials is very difficult and that's due to two things. One is COVID, the restrictions on COVID, of getting materials from overseas, interstate, everywhere. Also, and the added pressure is that the government, both federal and state, have um, put in a lot of money to try and stimulate, stimulate the economy through infrastructure which has put more pressure, so it's a double whammy. So therefore, we've got raw material shortage, and a classic example is steel mesh for concrete. Our customers are struggling to get mesh coming in from China. So, so what we've had to do is we've had to assist our customers by, for example, considering using steel fibres. The advantage of steel fibres is that they are using some recycled steel in there. So it's not just virgin material that's coming from China. So therefore, we can help our customers because there's not that delay in waiting for steel mesh. We've offered them a solution. So now there's never a better time for people to be looking for recycled materials when there's such a shortage of virgin materials in the construction industry. The Waste Forum is a collaboration between Main Roads, uh, the Department of Water and Environment and industry and it's been driving the use of recycled materials and helping to push recycled materials within the supply chain. The Waste Forum has been key in helping us develop a market for recycled construction and demolition waste. It's enabled the development of a product specification which was developed by the Department of Water and Environment and Regulation. Um, which was then tested through a pilot trial. Through the Waste Forum, we have been able to connect with uh, a multitude of different stakeholders. This include demolition operators, policy makers, 
regulators, the, in, the waste industry itself, as well as, well as constructors. So Research Project 1.75 has helped us to leverage the Waste form, Forum, as well as other state-led initiatives such as the Roads to Reuse Program. The Roads to Reuse Program is an initiative to, to enable the safe and sustainable use of construction and demolition waste within road infrastructure projects. SBE NRC Research Projects helps us with our overall goal to enabling greater use of recycled materials through supporting us to develop more ingrained sustainable procurement practices and developing our approach to stimulating markets for waste-derived products. What will really continue to drive this sector, as the report has highlighted, is much more emphasis on sustainable procurement at all levels of government. Yeah, and we need to move beyond what we've seen in the federal government and the national waste policy of encouraging the increase of it towards more what we're seeing in Victoria with the ecologic establishment, that unit that actually is looking at and, and requiring the use of recycled material by looking at market development, specifications and product design in order to bring that back into the market.